The news doesn't have to always be depressing. It can be uplifting. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Lana Zach. And I'm Errol Barnett. We appreciate you all joining us this Wednesday. Here's a look at the top stories we're tracking right now. The second Tennessee lawmaker expelled for taking part in a gun control protest on the State House floor could be reinstated today. We'll look at how the chamber moves forward if both representatives are back in the mix. A toxic fire in Indiana has residents fleeing the area as thick black smoke pours into the air. We have the latest on the efforts to get people home safely. President Biden is now in Ireland after spending the morning in Northern Ireland. We'll tell you about his meeting with the UK Prime Minister and how the president marked the anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. And later this hour, new data on inflation. We'll dig into the latest consumer price index report and what it might show us about the economy. Plus, Elon Musk joined the BBC in what was a hastily arranged interview to discuss his Twitter takeover and other topics. We'll show you what the billionaire said about the way he laid off employees. A lot of interesting things to get mm -hmm. to today, but we begin in Tennessee. Shelby County's Board of Commissioners there set to vote on whether or not to reappoint Justin Pearson back to his seat in the state's House of Representatives later today. Pearson, you'll recall, is one of two black Democrats who was kicked out of his elected seat by the Republican supermajority in the House. The offense that led to their expulsion? Participating in anti-gun protests on the chamber floor. Republican legislators argued that the protest broke the House's decorum rules. This left their seats open. And on Monday, Nashville's Metro Council voted to reinstate Representative Jones as his own interim successor. Pearson hopes he will have the same success in this afternoon's vote. I am very hopeful that the Shelby County Commission, despite some of the pressure that we're hearing coming from the state capitol about with drawing funding and things like that, are not going to yield into that pressure and they too are going to unanimously support us coming back to Nashville and serving the people of District 86 as the people of District 86 voted for us to do so in the primary and the general election. CBS News' senior national correspondent Mark Strassman joins us now from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, hi there, Mark. So. Obviously, with Representative Justin Jones being reinstated on Monday and Justin Pearson likely being reinstated today, we have to only imagine what kind of reception they're likely going to receive from the same Republicans who threw them out of office. What can you tell us? Right. A lot of, I mean, there's, there's bound to be hard feelings on both sides.